everybody, welcome to lesson four. There is a lot going on in this lesson, so let's just hop straight into plies. We are going to start in first position, five, six, seven, eight, and a demi, and straighten, and demi, and straighten, grand, demi, all the way down, press to demi, and straighten. This is when we'll transition to second position, demi, and straight, and demi, and straight. Now grand five, and six, and seven, and eight, transition to fifth. Again, two demis here, and then one grand, all the way down, all the way up, and then we'll stretch four counts forward, one, two, come up, three, four, four counts backwards, one, two, come up, three, four, four counts into the bar, out, and then four counts away from the bar. And then after that, we'll plie, and we'll come up to balance, and susu with our arms in high fifth, and we'll open, and then we'll come down afterwards. Before we get into the combination, I wanted to quickly talk about how you get from first position to second position. So you're in first position, and let's just imagine that you did your two demis and one grand, and you're about to transition to second position. To transition to second position, you'll tondu the outside leg and you'll set it down. But if you only do that, you'll notice that now I'm a little too far from the bar and my arm cannot reach it. I can reach it if I just bend my body like this, but this is not what we're looking for. So I'm gonna tondu, and instead of setting my foot out here, I'm actually just gonna set it down a little closer to me, and then I'm just gonna move my inside foot a little closer to the bar. And now my alignment is in a position where I can comfortably reach the bar without having to do that, right? A lot of schools have different methodologies about how you get from first to second position. Um, some schools, what they would do is they ask you to stand really close to the bar. So your arm's a little bit crunched up, and then you do your two demis, then you do your one grand, then you'll do a full tendu, and then you'll set it down without moving the inside leg. And that's also correct, but what happens is that when you do fifth position, you're also back to being kind of too close to the bar. I'm just giving you this knowledge so that when you go out into the ballet world and you meet someone that says, don't adjust your leg um, <laughs> when you're a transitioning to second position, the only way to not be able to adjust your leg is to actually just start really close to the bar so that you can do this and be comfortable. All right, let's move on. Hi everyone, welcome to the first voiceover. Let's get started in first position. Seven, eight, demi, and straight, demi, and straight. Inhale, then exhale. Again in second. Up, and demi. Up, follow the hand. All the way down, good job. And fifth. Two demis, one grand here. Make it smooth. Demi and straight. Let's stretch. Forward. All the way up. Lift to go back. Now into the bar. Look at the bar and come up. Other way. Plie, su su. Engage your core. Try to quiet down those ankles. Let's open. Great job, everyone. One thing that I forgot to mention when I was talking about transitioning from first to second position is the transition from second position to fifth position. So we learned earlier that we're gonna to transition to second position in a way where we set our tonsu down a little bit shorter than we normally would and then we move the inside legs so that we can comfortably reach the bar. Then we'll do our demi and our grand here. To transition to fifth position, we're going to move this inside leg back to where it was in first position, and then tendu and close to fifth. So remember, 
that you had to move this leg closer to the bar for sec position. And when you come back to fifth, you have to move it back where it was in first position. I hope that makes sense. Let's get started on the left side. Six and seven, arms open. Demi, straight. Demi, and straight. Go to your deepest demi, then all the way down. Press the heels down. Get ready for that adjustment. Up, plie, up. Heel stays on the ground the whole time in second position. Let's move to fifth. Really dance it out here. Exhale, press, and then straighten. Let's stretch. Forward, all the way down. Relax your neck. Then lift up to go back. To the bar. Look at the bar. Other way. Let's plie, su su, let go when you can, shoulders down, relaxing the jaw, and let's open. Good job! So now we are going to move on to tendus in first position. We're going to start with five, six, arms open to second, seven and eight, tendu front, Turn in, turn out, and close. Ton, do, close, and ton, do, close. To the side, same thing. Turn out, close first. Two ton do's, close first. Ton do, close first. To the back, turn in, turn out, and close. Ton do, back. Close first, tendu back, close first. Let's do four elevates after that. Up and down and up and down. Straight knees up and down. Last one and down. And then we'll reverse the whole thing starting from the back. Tendu back, turn in, turn out, close first. Tendu close first, tendu close first. To the side and in and out, close first. Side, close, side. Close last time, front, turn in, turn out, close first, tendu close first, tendu close first. You're gonna do it for elevates, up and down and up and down. It's not that fast, up and down, last one, up and down. And then we'll just end in first position here. With the turn in and turn out, something to really consider is that you don't want to move your hips too much. So tendu, I don't wanna do this. The whole point of this exercise is not to move your hips, it's actually to keep it still and move that leg in the hip socket. When you tendu back, there will be a bit of movement, definitely. Even just tendering back turned out, your hips will not keep perfectly still, and that's completely normal. But the idea is really to minimize the amount of rotation that your hip is doing, especially to the side and the front. There really should be no movement of the hip when you're doing turn, in, turn out. All right, let's get started. First position, getting ready. Arms first. Arms in second. Tendu front. Don't move the hips and then turn out. Come back in first. Tendu front. First, press the ground. Come back to the side. Turn in. Don't move the hips. Two tendus to the side. To the back. Close. Tony back. Close first. Up, down, and up, down. Engage your abs the whole time. Don't bounce up and don't bounce down. Reverse. Stabilize the hips. 
directly behind you and good to the side really pull up on that standing leg tondu side and first tondu side and first front close in first two tondus Control it up, control it down. Slowly up, slowly down. Don't bounce. Up and down with control. Down. Remember that in a tondu, it's really about how much pressure you can work with in the ground. You don't want to just put your leg where it needs to go. You don't want to just set it down. A lot of it comes from using the working leg and really pushing into the ground. Of course, you don't want to push so hard that there's weight on it, but there is pressure when you push. And I think we have talked about how in frappes, when you brush, you hear your foot making contact with the ground and sliding against the ground. And it's the same idea here. When you brush, even though it's slow, you should still be able to hear your shoes or your socks or whatever it is that you're using, making contact with the ground if you have a hard floor. This is going to be a really tricky concept to build on because we're not really used to this idea of pressing against the ground, but that's almost like everything in ballet dancing. If you can get that concept, dancing will be so, so, so much easier. So even though it might be hard to physically manifest it or do it right now, I want you to just remember that this is really how you should make contact with the floor. All right, getting ready for the left side. Seven and eight. Press the ground. Just move the leg, not the hips. Brush the ground. Come back, brush the ground to the side in turn out and come back last one then to the back back in out and close to the back close get ready to elevate up, down, up, and down with control. Reverse, back, control the hips, only the leg. Press the ground directly behind you to the side. Elbow up. To the front. Press the ground. Elevates. Up and down. And up. Squeeze to come down. Up down last one and down i usually like to do faster tondus from fifth position but today we are going to do two counts or slow tondus because we are learning a different pattern so instead of talking you through the pattern i want to just show you what the exercise is first and then we can talk about it in a bit so we are starting in fifth position we're going to do three tondus each way, and we're gonna use arms. That is if you're comfortable, of course. Five, six, seven, arms high. Tondu front, close fifth. Tondu front, close fifth. Third one, close fifth. Arms drops to the side, and tondu side, close fifth. Tondu side, close front. Tondu side, close back. Arms drops to in front of you, back and close 
This is the second one, and close. Third one, and close. This is where it gets tricky. Usually we wanna go side, but we're actually gonna do front again, but with the inside foot. Front, and close, and a front, and close, and a front, and close. Reversing the whole thing, and a back. Close fifth, and a back. Close fifth, third one, close fifth. Arms goes to the side, and a side. Close front, side, close back, side, close front, arms down, arms high to the front, and close, front, and close, third one, and close. This is a tricky one, arms drops to in front of you, and you're using the inside leg to tendu back, close fifth, tendu back, close fifth, back, close fifth, and then we'll just open the arms, and we'll drop them down. So some of you might be really confused right now, but don't worry, I promise you it's not that complicated. So we're doing something front, we're doing something side, we're doing something back. Instead of going side again, we're switching legs. Reversing the whole thing, we're gonna do something back, do something side, do something front, switch the leg. Let's get ready on the right side. Seven, and eight. Out, close fifth. And out, close fifth. Out, close fifth. Switch arms to the side. Close back, side, close front. Side, close, arms down. Arms comes in front of you. Back, and close back and close arm high tendu front 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 arms down arms in front of you reversing this whole thing back and fifth and uh, back and fifth and back and fifth get ready to the side and uh, side switch closings and side close back side close front tendu to the front get ready close close fifth and fifth get ready to tendu back back close back and close back and close you're done this is going to be a very tricky pattern because a lot of us are probably used to keeping all the weight in our standing leg so you do your tendus your tendus your tendus almost all of your weight is probably on this leg and when you have to tendu front you have to shift the weight onto your working leg, which is something we're not really used to or comfortable with. So your brain might probably understand this and your body might have a hard time executing this, but don't worry, just try it out. If it gets a little bit too confusing, forget about the arms. Just do the legs um, to the best of your capacity. All right, let's get started. Fifth position, left foot in front. Seven and eight, tendu front and front, front, arm changes to the side, tendu, change the closing, tendu, close front, tendu, close back, arms down and up, back, close fifth, directly behind you, close fifth, apply pressure to the ground, close fifth, Get ready to switch directions. Right leg and close. Right leg front and close. Tendu and close. Reversing this whole thing. Left leg back, back and close. Back and close. Back and close. Arms to the side. Tendu and change. Tendu and change, 
Tondu, close front, arms down, arms high. Brush the ground. Get ready to switch weight. Right leg back. Tondu and a close. Tondu and a close. You're done. Now we are moving on to jetés facing the bar. We are doing the class favorite of A8442211. There is a twist to it. We are going to reverse the numbers and build up from 1112244888. So let me quickly show you what that looks like. This is not up to tempo, but I'm just gonna speed it up so we can move it through this. So we're doing eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch, eight, one, two. Let's pretend like I just did eight. And then we're doing four. Let's pretend like I did four, and then somehow four. And this is where it gets tricky, two, two, and then duck, duck, walk, walk. Reversing this, duck, duck, walk, walk, and two, and two, and four, two, three, four, and four, two, three, four, then eight, and eight. Let's go over this transition really quickly so that you feel more confident as you're doing this. So let's say that we are still doing the countdown. So we're starting from eight, four, and then we just did two, and two, and then our classics, duck, duck, walk, walk, again, duck, duck, walk, walk, then two, then two, then four, four, eight, eight. All right, let's just get straight into it. Getting ready in first position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch, four, three, four, switch. Three, four, switch, switch. And one, 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 again, one, 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 then two, and two, count to four, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last eight, six, seven, eight. So now we are moving on to Rana Johnson fifth position. Let me show you what the combination is. Five, six, and a seven, eight. Front, Rana John back, and a front. Rana John back, three, faster, five, and six, and seven. Hold on eight, and then we'll lift the leg. Passe, and hold, develope, and point and close reverse to the back and front to the back and front three faster back and back and back and hold in the back lift the leg for two passe back for two extend and point and close we'll stretch for two and three and four five and six reversing the stretch and then we'll come into passe for an eight count balance and then we'll come down after that eight and uh, front rond de jambe back and front rond de jambe back front 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 and hold, lift the leg, passe, front, extend, point, close, fifth, reverse, back, front and uh, back, front, keep the hips still, back and uh, back, hold back, Lift the leg, passe back, 
Develop pace side. Pull up on your left hip here. Point and close. Let's stretch to the bar. Down and up. Reverse bar. All the way back. Up. Let's balance. Passe front. Straighten out that left leg. Really pulling up that left side body. Abs in. Point that foot. All right, you can relax now. So one thing to think about in this combination is to make sure that our hips don't move around when we're doing the Rana Jams. Yes, it's the same thing as what we did in our Tondu exercises where we're trying to see if we can um, isolate the leg movement from the hip movement. So when we did the turn in and turn out, we're trying not to move our hips. When we're doing the Rana Jam, also trying our best to not move our hips. Again, tricky thing to explain is that when you go from side to back, your hips will move, but you don't want to just let it go and also move your shoulders, right? They will move, but you want to lift up in this hip and really mitigate the movement. So if I don't really lift up and I just kind of sit in this leg and I keep it a little bit bent and I don't engage my muscles in this leg to pull myself up, what will happen is that I will rotate. My upper body will also rotate with this hip. So yes, when your leg's behind you, there is no way to keep your hips perfectly facing front, but you do want to really control how much shifting has to happen for your legs to be behind you by pulling up on this hip. All right, left side, fifth position. Arms open. Front, round de jambe back. Front, round de jambe back to the front. One, two, three. Hold the fourth one and lift. Passe. Point that foot as you extend. See if you can lift higher before you come down. Back, front, and uh, back, front. One, two, three. Hold that fourth one. Now lift, passe back. Point that foot. Let's stretch to the bar. All the way down. To the bar to roll back. Let's balance. Really pulling up on your right hip. Push your left knee back, turn on even more. You can do it. Great job. Next up is frappes. I'm going to be demonstrating on my left side. So we are going to get started in fifth position. Five, six, seven, flex, eight, frappe, one, and two, and three, and four, third one, and hold, P, gay, flex to the side, flex back to the side, flex front to the side, and hold, P, gay, flex back, three, two, the back, this is two, come in, this is three, and hold, P, gay, and flex to the side, and front to the side, flex back, side, hold, P, gay, and hold. Now we are transitioning to our petite bot mas. We are going to be doing 15 petite bot mas. Usually you'll have two eights and it should be 16 counts, but we're going to be using the last count to close in fifth position. So you just did your PK inside and then you're gonna do front and back and front and back all the way to 15. Let's pretend like I just did 15. I should end with my working leg on my standing leg and then I'll use the last count to just close in fifth position. All right, so three frat pays with one PK on qua and then 15 counts a petite bat ma using the last count to just close in fifth position. Let's get started.
This is going to be a fast intro. Get ready. Out, flex, front, 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 P, G, flex, side, 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 P, G, flex to the back, back, side, 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 P, K, and on the leg, the back of the leg, on, in the back. Keep going, just like this. On the leg, in the back. On the leg, in the back. Last one, and hold. And come down. So before we move on to the next side, let's talk about the petite batmas. Um, this is a similar kind of theme that we have going on, which is isolation from the leg and the hip. So when you do your petite batma, you really want to keep your hip still, as still as you possibly can. The tendency will be to kind of move the hip around to make the leg work. But again, the goal is really being able to learn what it feels like to isolate your leg from the hip socket so that you can move your leg freely without moving the hips. All right, let's go on to the left side. Get ready for that fast intro. Tendu flex to the front, 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 P, G to the side, 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 P, G to the back, 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 to the side, and side, and side, get ready, petit pas ma, and back, on the leg, and back, on the leg, and back, keep the hips stable here, keep going, Last one, and hold down. Now it's time for develop page. We are actually going to be learning a new movement at the bar, which is just a develop page, but in reverse. So if I do a develop page, I go to passe, I extend, I point, and I close. Envelope, reverse, go out, almost like grand bat ma, go to passe, and then come down to fifth. So let me demonstrate, five, six, seven, eight, Develop one, two, three, four, envelope pay five, six, come down, two, fifth, develop a side, two, three, four, envelope pay, passe front, but then you have to put your leg back to go back, develop a back, two, three, four, envelope pay, passe back, come down, two, fifth. Then we'll stretch forward for four counts, back for five, six, seven, eight, reversing the whole thing, and one, two, three, and four, envelope five, six, seven, eight, develop one, two, three, four, envelope five, passe back six, close to the front, develop to the front, point, close, reverse, that, come to fifth, same stretches, Four counts, stretch down and up. Four counts, stretch backwards and up. And we'll end the combination right there. Let's get started. Fifth position with right leg in front. Six and seven, arms open. Develop a one and two, extend front, close, envelope, passe, close fifth front. Develop to the side, point, close front, envelope, passe front, close fifth in the back. Develop back and two, point three, close four, grand bat ma, passe back, leg down, stretch forward, come up, lift up to go back. Let's reverse this. Develop pay. Point and close. Envelope pay. Passe back. To the side. Point. Don't change. Envelope pay. Passe back. Then passe front. To close front. Grand bat ma front. Passe front, stretch again, lift up, back, that 
that's it. So if you're getting a little bit confused with the coordination and the timing of everything, I want you to think about key moments in um, the combination. You don't need to have everything down by the count. You just need to remember that, oh, I need to somehow do a developé and finish that in four counts and somehow do an envelope and also finish that in four counts. So the key moment is really when your foot goes back into fifth. For example, if you're not someone who really likes to hold out their leg very long because your legs get really tired, I totally understand, you might do something like this. One, two, three, and four, where you just do a quick extension and then you close down. But if you're someone who wants to build up strength, you posse on one, and you extend on two, and you hold three, and then you slowly come down on four. So this is really all up to you. Don't get so hung up on the counts right now. We're really just focusing on the coordination. All right, let's do the left side. Let's get started in fifth position. And seven and eight. Passe. Extend, point, close. Reverse, passe, front. Come down to the side. Up, point, don't change. Grab up, ma. Passe, front. To the back and two, three, close, reverse, passe, come down, let's stretch. All the way down, relax your neck. Up. Again, one and two, extend, point, close. Reverse, passe, slowly down to fifth. Passe, side, point, don't change, rhombo, ma. Passe, close, front, develop, hey, to the front, you're almost there. Envelop, hey. Now stretches, all the way down. That's it. Good job, everyone. That was tough. Now it's time for Grand Bat Maz. I'm going to be demonstrating on my left side. Five, six, seven, and eight. Grand Bat Ma, point, close. Grand Bat Ma, point, close. Grand Bat Ma, point, close. Arm switches to the side, point, close. To the side, point, close. Third one, point, close. Arms down, arms front. Three to the back. Back and close. Back and close. Third one. Close. Arms. Side. The en croix pattern. Side. Close. Side. Close. Last one. Close. And then we'll just plie. Shushu at the very end. And then we'll take a balance here with arms and high fifth. All right, you guys can do it. Let's get started. I know you're tired. I was too, but you got this. Arms up. Grand ma. Close. Grand ba ma. Close. And close. Arm changes to the side. Change to the side. Change. Side. Change. Arms down. Arms in front. Third one. Arms side, close front, let's plie, su su, arms up to high, fifth, thumbs in, keep the ankles quiet here, and chin lifted, you got this, alright, you can come down now. At this point, I'm feeling pretty tired and I'm sure some of you are feeling that way too. If you need a break, definitely, definitely take one. I am really moving us fast this lesson, so we are just putting in more effort in a shorter amount of time, so it might just feel a little bit more exhausting than normal. So please take your time and don't feel discouraged. Take as many breaks as you need. That's 
I think the whole point of being able to practice at home, right? So whenever you're ready, let's go on to the next side. All right, fifth position, getting ready. Arms high and up and close. Up and close, from bop ma, close fifth, arm side. Side close back, side close front, side close back. To the back. You got this. Straighten that leg. To the side, close front, to the side, and side, arms down. Let's come up, su su. Relax the shoulders, really lift from the center. Chin up. All right, that's it, everyone. Before we get off the bar, I'm going to teach you all one new ballet move today. The movement that we are learning is called a pas de bourre, which translates to a dance of the bourre, I believe, but that's not a useful translation. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. And I'm going to begin with my right foot in front, and I'm going to fondue with my left foot picked up in the back. I'm doing susu, side, fondue and susu, side, fondue. Susu, side, fondue. Susu, side, fondue. I'm not gonna give you too many details at this moment because I want you to just get the coordination, but I will expand after we just do a practice of eight pas de berets with no music, super slow. So we're going to start with our left leg in the back in this kind of coupe and then we're fondueing and then on one we're going to go up to susu okay so we start just in fondue like this coupe back five six seven eight and susu side fondue again and susu side fondue again susu side fondue Su su side fondue. Four more. Su su side fondue. Su su side fondue. Su su side fondue. Last one. Su su side fondue. I hope you got the coordination in your body. I'm going to be adding a little bit more details now to what just happened. Right, again, we're starting in fondue back and then we're going up and then this is what it looks like sideways i'm actually just in a susu susu and then i'm moving my foot side almost to like a first position elevate and then i'm going to susu before i go to fondue susu first position susu fondue susu first position susu Fondue, but that susu fondue happens in kind of one movement. So we do susu side fondue. Right now I'm giving you an extra count to do that susu and last fondue, but usually you just want to get into the fondue, so you don't really hold that last susu. So susu side fondue. Susu side fondue. So now that you understand a little bit more of the details, Let's do this again, and I'm going to pick up the pace as we keep going because the eventual goal is to be able to do this quite fast. All right, everybody, let's start again in fondue with that left foot back in coupe. Five, six, seven, eight. Su, su, side, fondue, and su, su, side, fondue. Again, su, su, side, fondue, Su su side fondue. Su su side fondue. Su su side fondue. Su su side fondue. Pa de bourre. Su su side fondue. Pa de bourre. Pa de bourre. Pa de bourre. Su su side fondue. Su su side fondue. All right, good job, everyone. Now let's get it off the bar and we can start our center work. Hi, everybody, welcome to center. 
we have some pretty long combinations today, so I hope you're ready. Let's get started with our tendu and pas de bourree combination. So we are going to face en face, which is just forward, face on to the audience. In fifth position, right foot in front, arm in second the whole time. Five, six, seven, eight, two tendus en croix. Front, close, fifth, and front, close, fifth. Side, close, front. Side, close, back, to the back, close, fifth, to the back, close, fifth, en croix, side, back, side, close, front, and pas de bourre, and pas de bourre, again, pas de bourre, back, side, forward, we'll plie, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's break down what just happened. I think we're all quite comfortable with two tendus en croix. It's just what happens when we get to the pot of bray and the arms, right? Which might be a little bit tough for everybody. If we just did our last two tendus, side, close, back, in, side, close, front, we have four pot of berets. Immediately, we're gonna go to and, susu, side, fondue, and, Susu side, fondue. Two more. Susu side, fondue. Susu side. And then this fondue, I don't really want you to do the last fondue. I actually want you to just come down in fifth. So that last pas de bourree, instead of a fondue, you'll just kind of come down in fifth position. If you accidentally do a fondue, it's fine. Just find yourself in fifth position because then the next thing that happens after that is we're doing arms. First position. Arms to fourth position, right arm up, open, and down. First position, fourth position, other side, open, and down. The combination's over. All right, I'll call it out. Don't be intimidated, just follow along. Fifth position with right foot in front. Arms in second, tendu front. Fifth, front, and fifth to the side. Don't change and side close back lift up on croix close back and pas de bourre and back side forward and back side forward last one back side close and fifth now arms up look at the right elbow Again, first to fourth, open the left arm and down. So before we move on to the next side, I want to give a quick correction. Center work is pretty scary, I know, because you don't have a bar there and you don't feel very stable. This is all completely normal when you first start. But the trick for tendus to stay stable and not tilt around and lose your balance is to apply pressure. I want to stress that we are applying pressure and not weight into our foot. Practice applying pressure, but then still being able to really lift it easily. Weight and pressures are kind of tricky concepts because you do have to have a little bit of weight for there to even be pressure. But when I say don't apply weight, I mainly mean don't use the tendu leg as a kickstand. We want this leg, again, when it gets out there to be extremely light. All right, enough talking. Let's move on to the left side. Really brush, come back, and brush, come back to the side. Don't change, and side, then change. Back, close, fifth, directly back to the side. Side. Get ready, pas de bray. Step on the right, step on the left, step on the right. Step on the left, now arms. Left, open, and down. First position, fourth position, right arm, and down. And I realize today is a very heavy 
parvore day, but that's good because we really, really want to get that in because that really opens up the door of movement for us. So we are doing something called a tombe parvore, which is to fall and then a step with a bore. This is a pretty strange movement and can seem really complicated, but I promise you already know it essentially. So we're going to start in a B plus and we're gonna do this exercise with no music, just some tombe parvore. So let's learn what it is. B plus, right foot back, don't roll the arms. Five, six, seven, eight, and fall. This is a tombe you're falling onto the right leg and susu side forward. Again, fall, susu side fondue. Let's start with B plus, right foot back, five, six, seven, eight, and tombe, fall, susu side fondue. Again, fall onto the right leg, su su side fondue i hope i haven't lost you yet one more time fall su su side fondue this is a very hard step that takes people a long time to understand but once it clicks i promise you it will just feel very natural it might feel weird now but i know you'll get there so again b plus starting with the left leg back five Six, seven, eight. Fall on the left leg. Su, su, side, forward. Again, fall on the left leg. Su, su, side, forward. Last time, fall on the left leg. Su, su, side, forward. So we're gonna go through this again. I'm gonna talk through it and I'm going to just give you different words or different ways to think about it and hopefully one of the way clicks with you. Right foot back in B plus, tomoe pas de bray. Falling on the right leg. Fall, su su side, plie. Fall forward, back, side, forward. Fall on the right leg, back, side, forward. Hopefully that makes more sense to some of you. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. We're going to do it again until we get this. Slow and steady is the way to go. So don't get frustrated. We're doing this really slowly again. Left foot, B plus five, six, seven, eight, and fall, su, su, side, forward. Again, fall forward, su, su, side, forward and fall on the left leg, su su side forward. So now that we got the coordination down, I want to give you a little bit more details on what's actually happening in tombe potivere. The tombe, we really wanna keep up. Even though it's called a fall, we're not really falling hard. What we're doing is we're just extending that leg and then lightly transferring weight to it. And this leg is back. It's not side, this would be side. This leg is in the back of me. So, tombe to the corner, susu directly under you, side, diagonal side, and then forward. Let's try it on this side. I want you to just get the angling correctly. Ready, five, six, we're gonna face that angle. Seven, eight, fall straight to it, hips are facing it, leg behind you. Susu, side, forward. Just one more. Fall forward, right under you. Susu, side, forward. Right now, we are going to try a combination that is slightly longer and a little bit more complicated than all the other combinations we have done so far. So I hope you're excited and ready. We're gonna start here in B plus with the right leg back and we're gonna do five, six arms down on seven, eight, ballet walk, one, two, three, first arabesque, and you can lift your leg just a little off the ground. We're gonna be here on four, five, second arabesque, six, seven, tondu, close. Four balancés facing this corner, one, 
and a left back forward right back forward left back forward and since we're facing this corner we're gonna do a tommy pot array and then tommy fall susu side fondue but instead of a fondue at the end i actually just want you to go straight into fifth position so it's gonna be tombe, su su side, fifth, coming down. I hope that makes sense. Let's go over it one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, ballet walk, one, two, first arabesque, three, and four, five, switch arms, open, and close. Balance a one, and uh, left and uh, right and uh, left and uh, tombe su su side forward and we'll end facing this corner so we're really traveling from corner to corner most ballet classes um, center combinations are structured to move from corner to corner and this corner to that corner for me, when I teach beginner ballet, I tend to move from one side of the wall to the other side of the wall because this type of horizontal movement makes more sense for people. But since we're getting towards the end of the beginner series, we want to start introducing these kind of corner travels so that you will be ready for a more advanced class in the future. So if you're feeling lost right now, I don't want you to stress too much about it. For ballet beginner classes, most people are usually lost. The repetition is really what makes people more confident in the classes. So of course, if you're new to it, you really haven't had enough repetitions and everything feels really awkward to you, but this is part of the process. We have to keep doing it. Even if it feels weird, even if we aren't really sure what's going on next, we have to just keep going on with the combination because eventually your body will start getting used to these type of movements. And that's really what we're working towards too. All right, let's get started. B plus, getting ready with the right leg back. Seven and eight. Step one and two, third step to arabesque. Arms to first, second arabesque. Arms open, close, fifth. Balance A, one and two and three and Four, tombe with the right leg front, and close. Good job. So before we go on to the second side, let's actually walk through this combination very, very slowly and add in a little bit more details if we can. Five, six, seven, eight, toe ball, heel, toe ball, heel, first arabesque, leg up, First position arms, second arabesque, arms to second, close fifth. Balance to the left, back, forward, and right, back, forward, and left, back, forward, last one, right, back, forward. And then we just tombe forward, still facing this corner, back, side, fifth position. Let's do it just one more time because the left side is pretty confusing for folks. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a five, six, tendu, and close, and a balance, 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 this is the fourth one, balance, and then fall back, side, susu, fifth, plie, and straight. That's it. Okay, left side, best side, you got this. Seven, arms down. Walk, one, and two to first era, best. Low leg, arms first, second arabesque arms in second foot down close fifth balance it get ready left and right and left and 
right tom b left foot front plie that's it we are almost done with center this is the combination that we're doing right before reverence and it's a pirouette practice we are going to be doing quarter turns for pirouette practice they're really really challenging actually and potentially even harder than a full 360 degrees turn but it is good to work on the harder stuff right now um, and really build the strength and the confidence doing quarter turns before we move on to full turns start in fifth position with right foot front five six seven eight tendu side plie right foot front and passe close front so this is on elevate but i'm doing it really slow so tendu side plie right foot front passe fifth plie tendu side plie right leg up right leg close front tendu side plie last quarter turn close front this is a pretty common drill practice for turns in many ballet classes that you'll see and it is such a fun and important one right now i don't want you to worry too much about how it looks get it in your body first and then we'll talk about how to control it and make it look better later all right quarter turns right leg let's get started getting ready with the right leg front right leg is the one going in passe seven and eight right leg plie right leg up right leg front side and plie and up side plie and up close front side plie front and up close front so great job on trying that on the right side i forgot to mention that if you're on a slippery floor you definitely need to be careful my wood floor is a little bit slippery but because i've done ballet for a bit i still can feel like i'm somewhat in control even on a slippery floor i just need to work harder to control it but if you're new you probably don't really have the strength and the understanding to control your body yet so i would just be super super careful if your floor is slippery so now we're going to move on to left side let me just do two for you and i want you to just try along so you know which leg which arm is doing what so left leg in front five six seven eight and uh, one plie left arm in front passe left leg close left front tendu side left arm front passe left leg close front all right let's do four of those and then we're done quarter turns on the left side getting ready eight and tendu plie left leg up tendu plie left leg up and close front plie left passe last one and up close front you might notice that the first few of these pirouettes are not going too well for you but what you want to do is be able to adjust so maybe the first time oh you're falling back so the next time you do the passe releve you might want to focus on keeping your upper body up and forward so that you don't fall back if you're falling side to side you're trying to mitigate that the next turn by shifting slightly to the other side so that you can balance yourself so even though it might be hard to make these adjustments consciously your brain is probably doing some slight adjustments every time you do this pirouette practice because your body most of the time is smart enough to figure out okay this is happening to me so i'm going to counterbalance so i don't fall oh this is happening too so i'm going to counterbalance so i don't fall this is why consistent practice is just so important for ballet your body does know what to do not all the time, but most of the time. Um, but it's a matter of just enough repetition so that your body can learn how to adjust correctly to all these different things that you're doing. I'm really proud of you all for sticking around to the very end. Now we are moving on to reverence and bows, and we are going to learn a new type of bow today. Today's theme is new, 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 if you have not noticed. <laughs> Again, as a reminder for reverence, we don't normally have a formal combination. It's slow, so you can just follow along. 
seven and eight. Plie, right arm. Plie, left arm. Open, plie, then we'll come up to susu, come down to fifth. Tendu front, left arm, look down, bow, close, tombe, pas de bré, plie, let's reset. Plie, left, plie, right, open, plie, susu, open. Tendu front, right arm, and bow, close, tombe, pare bure, plie, close. Good job, everyone. Hi everyone, thank you so much again for finishing today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. A huge shout out to all the folks that have been with me since the Absolutely Beginner series. You guys are awesome. And of course, a huge thank you to all the Patreon folks. You are all the folks who are making it possible for me to continue the series. Um, I appreciate your support so much. You guys are wonderful. As you might have noticed, today's lesson had a lot of voiceovers in it. I am trying something new to see if this works out better. This definitely helps me speed up my filming process because I always tend to mess up when I am trying to dance and talk at the same time. Um, I definitely loved your feedback on this new format and I hope to see you guys in the next lesson. Bye everyone!